And now I'll be glad to answer some questions. Terry. Mr. Pre Mr. President, less than two months ago, at the end of one of the bloodiest months in the war, you said, absolutely, we're winning. Yesterday, you said, we're not winning, we're not losing. Why did you drop your confident assertion about winning? Uh, my comments, uh, the first comment was done in, in this spirit. Uh, I believe that we're going to win. I believe that, uh, and that, by the way, if I didn't think that, I wouldn't have our troops there. That's what you got to know. We're going to succeed. Uh, my comments yesterday reflected the fact that we're not succeeding nearly as fast as I wanted when I said it at the time, and that conditions are tough in Iraq, particularly in Baghdad. And so we're conducting a review to make sure that our strategy helps us achieve that which I'm pretty confident we can do, and that is have a country which can govern itself, sustain itself, and defend itself. You know, I. Um, when I speak, like right now, for example, I'm speaking to the American people, of course, and I want them to know that I know how tough it is, but I also want them to know that I'm going to work with the military and the political leaders to develop a plan that will help us achieve the objective. I also want our troops to understand that, uh, that we support them, that I believe that tough mission I've asked them to do is going to be accomplished and that they're doing good work and necessary work. I want the Iraqis to understand that we believe that uh, if they stand up, step up and lead, and with our help we can accomplish the objective. And I want the enemy to understand that, uh, that this is a tough task, but they can't run us out of the Middle East, that they can't intimidate America. They think they can. They think it's just a matter of time before America grows weary and leaves abandons the people of Iraq, for example. And that's not going to happen. What is going to happen is we're going to develop a strategy that helps the Iraqis achieve the objective that the 12 million people want them to achieve, which is a government that can a country that can sustain itself, govern itself, defend itself. A free country that will serve as an ally in this war against extremists and radicals. Karen. Thank you, Mr. President. If you conclude that a surge in troop levels in Iraq is needed, would you overrule your military commanders if they felt it was not a good idea? Uh, that's a dangerous hypothetical question. I'm not condemning you. You're allowed to ask anything you want. I will, look, let me wait and, and, and gather all the recommendations from Bob Gates, from our military, from diplomats on the ground, it's interesting, the Iraqis point of view, and then I'll report back to you as to whether or not I support a surge or not. Nice try. Uh, my, my, the opinion of my commanders is very important. They are uh, bright, capable, smart people whose opinion matters to me a lot. Right.